Government on Thursday afternoon received a new electronic database that will be used to record and track all building and development applications. The system also monitors the application process and conditions affecting disaster risk reduction measures. The Department of Disaster Management, together with the Town and Country Planning Department, sought the assistance of the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, SEDEMA, to develop the electronic database. In working with the planning and the building authorities over the years, the DDM has recognized the need for a system to allow for monitoring and monitoring of planning applications and mitigation measures being implemented within the planning and the development system. Through its partnership with SEDEMA, the DDM was able to secure the necessary funding to develop this very new and innovative database that will allow for updates or inputs by various key stakeholders. We wanted to ensure that the database was linked to the planning and the development process and that it allowed for an intimate monitoring of the mitigation measures from the subdivision stage through the construction phase. Our role of coordination has been applied through this initiative and we are satisfied that the planning sector in the Virgin Islands now has a system for assessing risk, addressing vulnerability, and calculating physical and social impact. We are satisfied that this sector now has the capability to ensure that practices are continuing to, to, to contribute to sustainable development in the Virgin Islands. Deputy Chief Planner in the Town and Country Planning Department, Ron Baird, explained that the thousands of records that were once handled manually will now be electronically stored and updated using the new database. We in the Town and Country Planning Department, through our Development Control section, have operated a system of receiving, recording, processing and monitoring planning applications for many years. The system is largely manually driven. The past files kept in our office for immediate reference number more than 5,000, with even more stored elsewhere. In 2009, there was a general agreement that the system should be streamlined and digitized. TCP is grateful to DDM and SEDEMA who provided assistance that enabled completion of phase one of the project to facilitate efficient and timious processing of planning applications and the monitoring of development. Funding for the database came largely from the DDM and SEDEMA, represented by Executive Director Jeremy Collymore during the handing over ceremony. Collymore says the database is pioneer work which will benefit the region in terms of the connectivity that exists between the development planning and risk management. And I think what is unique about it is that at the practical level of the householder and the person in the community, it keeps you connected. <laughs> To the key aspect of your personal thing, but at the same time, highlight some of the risk issues <laughs> with your investment, that is your home <laughs> or the development of your property. And, and for us, um, as I indicated um, to Charlene, I, I, I think that we want to replicate this process in our participating states, the connection between risk management and development planning and decision making. Developers Mikey Ferrara and Susan Augustine gave a brief demonstration of the database highlighting its ability to track application submission date and proposed site inspections, among other things. This will allow government to monitor employee accountability in the various areas. Premier Smith called the handover of the electronic database continued progress toward the digitalized interconnection of governmental departments for a better customer service.